129 miles, 129 miles. That's how far I'm going today. Of course, I've been watching the weather forecast like a hawk. But I'm going to an old favourite, off to Strawberry Fuel today over in Bridlington. Should be a safe bet though, because it's going to be absolutely cracking the flags today. When that's the case, that boot sale, well, let's just say it can be tat as far as the eye can see. Going to make this one count. So I'm going to get some coffee because I really need it. Midweek boot sales, man, it's hard going. Yeah, come on, let's get on the road and see what we can find. Looking pretty busy already. This is what we like to see. You know, can't grumble. It's always a good day when I see you. <laughs> you made it across again. I did, yeah. It seems to be getting longer and longer yeah, that journey. Yeah, already. Yeah. I thought I'd, it'd still be filling up. Yeah. I think it's sure. I'm not here week in week out, so. Yeah, I suppose. It's supposed to be cracking the flags today, isn't it? Just get rid of a few bits. Got to keep that stock moving through, aren't we? Yeah. I'll see you in a bit, bud. Morning. It's Blu-ray, I think. Yeah. Have you, got, have you got the remote for it? No. No, it has That's it in, why it's the five. Yeah, no worries. Order, just add it in. Yeah, no bother. Um, well, I'm going to take some more time. How much have you got in your tonka, mate? I've got 35 on it. 35. Seen the two at the other end? I have, yeah, yeah. They're not that much new. How many candelabras is there? Um, it's for a wedding, so it was like eight, but do you want, do you want me to count them for you? No, it's like just a rough idea, really. I just think there's eight. I was just going to sell them at £5 each. Yeah. We'll be on a jacket, pal. Tidy that. It's tidy that. Wouldn't mind a real one. You on here, Paul, is it? Yeah. Have yeah, we got any wet seats? 13 quid each. You just 20 for the pair? Yeah, go on. I've got all two quid. Yeah, yeah, Cheers, man. Yeah. Have you got your added, Osmond? The same, I think you want some 20 again, mate. Yeah, 20 on them, then. Thank you. 
Hey y'all. Yeah, I was looking for a cow label or any. <laughs> Can't leave that for a fiver. Can't leave that for a fiver. <laughs> Can't leave it for a fiver. I've got a soft spot for a sheepskin. Yes. <laughs> I just realised how weird that sound is. <laughs> yeah. You really. Fiorelli. Yeah. I recognise that one. Yeah. More of a shirt than the jacket, aren't yeah, it? Yeah, it's yeah, it's a jacket. Yeah. You know what it is? It's CC41. I'm not familiar with that one, too. I'm not CC41. Oh, they're so rare, that's probably why. Yeah. It's that like utility clothing. Yeah. Um, from the First World War, you could only get that clothing on your ration stamp. Right, and they made okay. utility furniture, CC41 was for furniture for tables, chairs, beds, wardrobes, all clothes, school uniform, tights, shoes, handbags, clothes. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Let's see if and I can... And it's a big thing, especially for reenactment, uh, 1940s, um, you know, for, for wearing them for... This one's in excellent condition. Condition of that. That's lovely that. How much do you want for that yeah, one? 40. 40. Yeah. Look it up on the internet. Yeah, I have done, yeah. I think I'll yeah. take that, you know. Yeah. That's for nothing. Four. So we're up to 50 so far. Up to 50, are we? Yeah. yeah there are okay, two okay, jackets okay. in there. But, um, uh, yeah, you look it up, but, but not only that, do some research because it could open another avenue of thought yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The tickets in there. I'll show you the ticket, what the ticket looks like. Right, this is, this is what you've got to look for. See that there? It's a utility ticket. CC41. And that's the code number reference to the um, Russian book. Right, there you go. Yeah. Really learn stuff. Do you know what? I re this is one thing I love about what I do. I love learning new things. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely love it. CC41. Did they do something like school pants, socks, yeah. you name it, another shirt, purple one? So, what's going for them? Uh, so far, um, there's no advances on 50. Don't let him knock you down, there is a demon. Always pay a fair price. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Look at that. I yeah. Definitely have a look at that. Yeah. Oh, please tell me it's an XL. Is it? Oh my word! Now you're talking my language. That's a of Is that yeah, it's a forty-four. It's a vintage one. That's amazing. That's an Acosta. Fortune. How much is the bell star? Yeah. Sixty. I have, yeah. I've kind of fallen out. I love with it. Really? There's a brand, yeah. It, it's really good. It's just very saturated at the minute. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. This looks yeah. like a vintage piece. It as is well. a vintage piece. It's from the 50s. East X. Yeah. There's a lot of names you would have never heard of because they've come and gone. I've they? heard of East X, yeah. yeah. Is there anything about lighters? No, unless they're like Zippos. Zippos are very collectible, but do, are they just normal gas lighters? The novelty ones. The right, okay. Like eight balls and things like that. Oh, okay. Are, are they big ones or just little ones? I can certainly have a look for you if you like. I don't know how it works. Yeah, I know it's a bit probably slides. Oh, there you go. It looks very novelty. It looks newer than... I like think it's made to look old, isn't it? Oh, I think they really collected from the 80s. All yeah. oh, right, OK. Yeah. Let me weigh in for what we've got so far. I'll probably uh, what find that? Uh, 60 we're up to. Um, so we've got the bell staff at 10, the yeah. suit at 40, yeah. and the two yeah. jackets at 5. Yeah. So that's 60. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'd be interested in the other CC41 items. Yeah, no worries. Now you're on it now, aren't you? I am.
<laughs> Do you know, I've, 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 this has been my, the best transaction of the day because I've learned something. Have you? Yeah. Thank you, Pat. How much is it? But the thing is, you know the make, don't you? Yeah. I always ask questions yeah. about other stuff because I don't always know the sound. Of course, yeah, really yeah. Know, do you? No, no, no. Well, I have um, a YouTube channel that um, basically passes on that knowledge kind of thing. And oh, well, there you are. So, you know, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you can share the suit. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's... And you can talk about it. Yeah. Isn't it? Gilded. Well, it was gilded. Right. How much is your left right now? Sorry? Pound to you. Well, Gotta admit, oh, my head was seriously dropping then. Been around this field three times, and all I picked up was two wetsuits up until meeting that lady then. Just completely ruined my no clothes rule. But I've learned something new, and that's a massive win for me. A day where you learn something new is a good day. A couple of items from that clothing haul could pay for the whole trip over anyway. I'll explain why a little later. How much is a CD player? 25. 25. Yeah, it's condition of something good. I use it. But... I don't know. I don't know. I've got those. I'm blowing up. Did it come with a remote originally? No, I haven't. No, no. Could do 15. No, sorry, oh. I can't. You know, I can sold it on eBay for 60, 65. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I tried so on, on on the car, but yeah, maybe. Of sometime. course, yeah, I'll yeah. That. For repair on eBay is for 20, 25. Yeah, that's, that's, good that's yeah. fair enough. Yeah, thank you anyway. Mate. You're welcome. How much is that, boss? Huh? How much is that? I do for ten of it. How close to five can we get? No, sorry. No, okay. Yeah, <laughs> so sorry. No, no, it's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now you might remember me saying in previous videos that it's always worth getting out to a boot sale because just one seller can turn your whole day around. Well today exactly that happened. Just one seller turned today from being an absolute disaster waste of time to being potentially very profitable. I say potentially very profitable, it's all relative. It was very, very close to going Pete Tong today, very close. And it would have been a five hour round trip to visit what has become a, a market, essentially. There was very, very few private sellers on today. That's not a complaint about Strawberry Phil Boot Sale because it is a brilliant boot sale. It's absolutely brilliant. But considering I live so far away and the reason I'm here, it needs to pay for itself for me. We're currently on quarter to 10, so I'm gonna do a bit of retail arbitrage on the way home, see what I can dig up. So I'll pick this up in a little while. Now I'm resisting the temptation to call myself a hypocrite and beat myself up over the clothing thing, but it's purely by luck. The reason I'm taking that tact is because I've got some interesting things to talk about. It is about clothing. So apologize to the people who are bored by people picking up clothing at boot sales, but check this out. Now for a minute, you're gonna have to pretend that I haven't completely lost my mind. I know it might be a bit of a stretch for you at the minute. I spent rather a lot of money uh, on clothes. <laughs> and the first lot, I've actually separated it out because I'm restricted for space, is eight vintage ski suits. Now I seem to remember back in the day, we're going back quite some time, when I first started watching George Ross, that he was a big fan of picking up stuff like this, and it's just leaked out of my memory for the longest time. I mean, to be fair, I haven't really seen any. They're actually quite difficult to get hold of, which is a good thing because it makes them a little bit more sought after. And when that's the case, it keeps the prices up. This is the breakdown though. Eight ski suits, paid a total of £40 for all eight. And there's some really funky designs as well. Most of them are branded. First one, this snowdrift one. It's more like a, it's quite a shell suity feel to this one. List on, listing value on that one, £45. 
This next one's on brand here, but it's really cool looking. Uh, listing value on that, £25. This one feels really good quality. It's thicker than the others. Uh, this one's by Icarus. Listing value on that one, £45. This is probably the pick of the bunch, actually, just purely based on the brand, which is Sport Arms, S-P-O-R-T-A-L-M. Really cool design on this one as well. Listing value on that one, £60. Next, Big River. Again, a good quality filter. This more of a shell sooty type material. Cool graphics on that one. Listing value, £30. Hibernia one. Listing value on that one, £30. A vintage feeler. This is the only brand that I've recognised in the, all of them. Obviously, I've done my research on them, though. This is the Feeler Antarctica. I'm going to age these at probably 1980s. Listing value on that, £55. And probably the loudest of all of them. Brand on this is Rodeo. Listing value on that, £40. Now, it's important to know that the research on these was quite difficult because there's only maybe three or four of the brands that were bringing up any kind of comps for them, any kind of results. So it's difficult to do the research. So what I've done in the main to come up with those valuations is compared them to as close a possible match as I can. Now, if you just type into an eBay search 1980s ski suits or snow suits or vintage ski suits, snow suits, I'll get me tongue tied a little bit there. There's some really, really, really strong results as far as value is concerned for this type of item. But at 40 quid for all eight of them, I'm going to be way, way into profit on all of them, even if I'm a bit off on those valuations. Couple of wetsuits now, standard pickups for me. I've paid £20 for both of these wetsuits. First is a brand that you've seen me pick up before, Gold GOL. Listing value on that, £30. I've come to that conclusion basically because it, it appears to be brand new. There's not a mark on it. The other one's just a little bit dirty, a Weihu. I think that's how you pronounce it, W-A-I-H-U-I. Still seeing comps for this, but it's not quite as popular. Listing value on that, £20. Now, the next two items are absolute bolos, and this is a talking point of the video for me because it really, really got my interest when I was talking to the seller. Now, obviously, I was doing my research on the spot, but these two items are actually from the Second World War. Uh, the brand is... I suppose if you want to call it a brand, for want of a better word, is CC41. I'll show you the label, actually. That's probably the best way to do it. So there's the label, uh, CC41. Looks like two little Pac-Men. Now, the reason these were so interesting, obviously the very old vintage clothing, uh, they, they feel in remark. That's a really nice uh, tweed suit and the skirt, jacket and skirt. And this overcoat, not sure if it's a men's or a women's overcoat, if I'm perfectly honest. But these, these clothing would have been bought originally using ration books that kind of era his early 40s into the 50s kind of thing but as interesting as they are they needed to be worthwhile me picking them up now i paid 40 pound for the suit i, I want to say i paid the same for the coat as well but i'll just put a correction on screen if i'm wrong which on the face of it seems like a lot of money however for the brand, obviously it's difficult to find spe these specific clothing, but for the CC41 brand of that era, the results are just crazy. For the overcoat, I'm going to put a listing value of £120 on it. And because this suit is in such remarkable condition, I'm going to put a listing value of £150 on it. Now, I wouldn't like to hazard a guess why these th this such high value. Historically, I've had really good success and got uh, really good returns on selling Second World War uniforms, but I don't think I've ever come across civilian clothing before. Now, for those of you who know me or have been watching these videos for a while, you know that I love, one of the biggest and best things for me about being a reseller is learning new things. So if these were the only things I came back with today, I'd be a happy bunny. And that's not based on how much they're worth either. But I'm sure you'll agree, CC41 is an absolute bolo. Very recognisable brand. Now, I paid £10 for this Bellstaff jacket. It's a more modern jacket. It's just a waterproof coat, really. It was the brand that sold it for me. Bellstaff is a 
brilliant brand and uh, again from a bolo point of view if you were to find a Bellstaff vintage wax jacket you can be talking several hundred pound in some in, in some cases so Bellstaff definitely a brand to watch out for this isn't a vintage item but it's in great condition looks like it's had very little wear I'm going to put a listing value of 40 pound on it sadly not my size I think this is a medium to a large otherwise I would have had that for a while I was determined for it not to all be about clothes today so I picked up this solid brass letter opener with a mother of pearl handle I just thought it looked really quirky I only paid a pound for it it's got a decent bit of weight to it as well comes through a little bit all over the place but I can confidently say that this is a vintage piece I'm gonna put a listing value of 20 pound on that clearly I'm not gonna find this exact one uh, to do my research but there's plenty of evidence of this type of thing this 19 70s women's long sheepskin coat really caught my eye still selling sheepskins still having reasonable success it's rare i'll come across a vintage sheepskin like this though doesn't necessarily mean it's going to bring a higher return again i'm going to need to check back on the video for how much i paid for it i'm going to say 20 pound and i'm very confident in putting a listing value on that of 70 pound i do believe this Aquascutum coat is also vintage. I need to do a little bit more re research. I didn't. I, I thought Aquascutum was a, a relatively young brand, if I'm honest. But you learn something new every day. This looks like something me would wear, that's for sure. It's really strange because when I check comps on site, it was actually bringing up higher values than when I've just done it to double check my homework. I paid twenty pound for this coat, and the listing value on that is forty five pound. I will double double check my homework before I come to listing it. This jacket feels absolutely amazing uh, brand is Fiorelli uh, size 10 it's more like a shirt than a jacket though there's no pockets on it it's very shirt-esque but I can't see anybody wearing this as a shirt I'm gonna say jacket final answer this is a jacket Fiorelli suede jacket paid just five pound for it and a listing value on that one 25 pound this overcoat looks vintage but it's not the brand is Berwin made in England master tailors no less i believe berwin do tailoring for harrods because when i check comps for this brand there's a lot of evidence for harrods garments by Ber berwin 10 pound pay for this one listing value on that it's in remarkable condition 50 quid last item today is a personal purchase next month i'm taking the grandkids away camping and i've been looking out for one of these actually it's just a fold away table and chairs uh paid 20 pound for that which is probably more than i wanted to pay if i was buying them to resell i'd want to be paying about a fiver if i'm honest but because i bought it for me and it's for personal use 20 quid's a bargain obviously no listing value for the video I said it earlier and I'll say it again, that one seller was all it took to turn today completely around. It could have been such a different story. Because of the weather forecast, I did anticipate it being an absolute corker. I think I said that at the top of the video, but you can never call it. Such is the nature of this game. You just have to turn up and see what happens. If there is anything you spotted that I didn't, let me know in the comments below. I like to think I went over that site with a fine tooth comb and there was nothing leaping out at me, but there's some much more intelligent people out there than I am. If you've got any entertainment or education or value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel. Until next time, lovely friends, I've been Dave Keith. You've been amazing. See you soon.